bottom it is tension therefore top it will be fsc at the bottom it will be fst and before we start i would really appreciate it if you could smash that like button drop me a comment and share this free program with anyone who might need it so this fst means stress in concrete at the level of steel it is not the stress in steel so if you need to find the stress in steel you have to divide fst by m dividing fst by m this will give us stress in steel so we have stress in steel here this and this whole distance it is going to be my effective depth d so what is effective depth say this is my section the whole depth is called as d and till the center of the bars this one is called as small d that is my effective depth so everywhere we'll consider effective depth only so at effective depth so this is xu this is d so i'm going to convert this again into a simpler form so this time my tension it's going to be like this the whole thing it is acting in this direction and my compression is acting in this direction so fsc it can also be called as fcbc so i'm going to draw this again here but in a simplified manner so my c is acting somewhere here and my t is acting somewhere here right this whole thing is xu and the difference between c and t this is called as z and z is our lever arm right this difference is called as z and z is our lever arm find everything in a minute so if you take this force diagram you can see that c and t only they both exist therefore by law of equilibrium c should be equal to t so what are we going to do now we are going to find the forces of c and t now so coming to c let us look into this diagram this is where c is acting so we know whenever uh, the loading is like this that is an uniform load or uniformly varying load we will take the area of the load to find the intensity therefore finding the area it is in triangular shape therefore what i'm going to do is half times this fsc or fcbc i'm going to go with fcbc into so this is stress this the unit of this is newton per meter square or millimeter square but you get the idea right this newton per meter square but my c it is going to be in newtons only because compression is a force and the unit of force is newton so i have to multiply this stress with an area what area with this area so i know that the breadth of the section is b and i know that this compressive force will be acting on this section so i'm going to take the cross sectional area of this section which is xu into b so this is my c coming to t now so t i don't have any problem because i already know the area of steel it is just ast and i have the stress of uh, uh, steel only here i don't have the stress of concrete so i don't have to worry about the concrete here concrete part here so i'm going to just take the stress here fst by m i already know the area of steel here so into the area is m times ast so m m it gets cancelled as a result i'll get it as fcbc xu into b divided by 2 is equal to fst ast now uh, i don't know i know the values of i don't know the values of xu i don't know i know the value of b i know the value of asc i don't know fst and cbc so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take these both outside to the other side so it becomes something like this let me write it here fcbc by fst is equal to ast 2 times ast divided by xu into b so let's keep this aside let this be equation 1 let's again come to this diagram so we can see that since there are two triangles and they have the properties of similar triangles we are going to use that formula so using similar triangle property i can take say that fsc by xu will be equal to fst by m divided by this distance which is d minus xu so writing that here 
it is fsc by xu is equal to fst by m divided by d minus xu so i can see that again i have fsc fst and xu which i don't know so i'm going to take fsc and uh, fst this side so let me write it here again it becomes fsc by fst is equal to xu by m into d minus xu let this be my equation number 2 and we can see that equation 1 and 2 they have the same uh, left hand side therefore I can equate the right hand side therefore I arrive at the formula that 2 AST by XU into B is equal to XU divided by M into D minus XU so now here I know my AST I know my D I know my M I know my B I only don't know XU so from this there is only one unknown and one equation I can find what is the value of XU so from this I can find XU so how will this XU help us in finding uh, FSC and FST we'll see that now so we have already seen the formula for C C is equal to half times B into XU into FSC and t is equal to half into no st into fst so it is something like this this distance is xu this is where your c is acting this is where your t is acting and the whole distance is d this distance is d minus xu and the distance between this is z so now you don't know how to calculate z let me tell you how you can do it so this c it will act at the centroid of this triangle so where will the centroid of this triangle lie it will lie at a distance of the whole distance is xu so it will lie at a, lie at a distance of xu by 3 right sorry it will lie at a distance of xu by 3 so i can say that if this distance is xu by 3 and the whole distance is d then i can say that my z is equal to d minus xu by 3 right okay. so we have found z also so i know what is c what is c i know what is the moment applied also so m is equal to c into z which is equal to t into z both are the same so i already know what is my fst ast so i know the z value and in C and T, I already know B, I know XU, I don't know FSC, but I know M. From that, if I take this equation, it will be M is equal to C, which is half into B times XU into FSC into Z. So in this equation, I know M, I know B, I know XU. I don't know this, I know this. So from this I can find FSC and in a similar way for, uh, on equating T into Z to M you can find FST. So I'll see you guys in the next video for the next type of problem. Thank you.